nerds and nerdettes and we little nerdlings all. It's your buddy, Big John and G, the Two Gun Fixit presents Legendary Gaming. And here we are again. It's Tuesday, everyone. How you doing? Hope everyone is staying safe. So welcome back for another Tabletop Takeout Tuesday. As you, as you know, I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G. And I love to use this spot to tell you quick little blurbs, bullet points, I guess, on why I enjoy, why I love certain games. And today is another uh, Alexa-enabled skill. A game that you can play with Alexa, which I've been experimenting with and having a lot of fun. Now, this one is a choose-your-own-adventure style. You know, like the Endless Quest books that TSR used to put out. That's the style of game that the Dark Citadel has. And I did have fun playing it. So I want to tell you about the Dark Citadel. I'll see you all down at the table. The first Alexa skill game that I tried was Dark Citadel. I... I was looking for, for for games that Alexa could play because I had heard that she could play games. And one of the first things I noticed was a endless quest or choose your own adventure style game called the Dark Citadel. I always enjoyed these style games. Also like the ones Z-Man games makes. They got a sci-fi one, War of the Evil Power Master, and a sort of high adventure one, I guess. That's why I categorize it. Uh, House of Danger. That they turn those books into board games. So I, I do, I enjoy this. They're fun escapes. So I figured it's free. What the hell? Let me see, let me try Alexa's version of this. And that one I tried is the Dark Citadel. And I did enjoy it enough to go back several times and continue my my adventure in this world. And if you're looking for that kind of game, let me tell you about this. So at, at first I thought the atmosphere of the game was just kind of middle ground, you know, nothing, nothing great, you know, nothing I was upset about. It was, it was okay. And then voices. Okay, I like that. I actually do love the old uh, radio style of programming, you know, which, which was even before my time. But, you know, where they had a lot of sound effects, where they, where they immersed you in this atmosphere, you know, audibly, every way they could. Someone was walking, you heard footsteps, they opened a the door, you hear a door opening. So, when it got to the point where there was actual voices, voice acting. Yeah. All right. You notched it up a little bit. Although, between you and me, and uh, I hope my, my longtime viewers uh, realize this, but I'm not usually one to brag about myself. But if anyone doing Alexa games, or Dark Citadel specifically, hears this, I can do better voiceover work than I was on that. Yeah. And like I said, I, I don't pat myself on the back. You can go through all my other videos. You're hardly ever going to see that. So it means something. But it was fun. It was still fun to hear it jump into, into a voice when I didn't expect that to happen. So very cool and thank you. So obviously, since this is an endless quest or choose your own adventure style game, there's really no rules. So you you get to jump right into it. The only thing rule-wise is is kind of learning how to talk to Alexa, because there is some light RPG to this, which is something I enjoyed. You you can, during the course of the game, uh, get equipment, gear, money, you can find things, you can buy things uh, to a small degree, so so you want to be able to keep track of things like that in the game, and it adds to it. It almost makes it look like, um, 
was was that in the late 80s or the early 90s uh tsr came out with these uh, a couple of super endless quest books which skirted the line between rpg and and endless quest <laughs> and that that is more specifically the kind of the kind of endless quest book that this game reminded me of and i liked it because of that i appreciated that Unfortunately, I don't think there's a ton of replayability in this game, but there is some. I think you can go through this several times, uh, making different choices and following different paths in the game. But I, and I could be wrong. It could be a lot deeper than I than I think. But just the way I went through it, it didn't seem like there was going to be a lot of different end results. But it is definitely good for for several replayable games if you enjoyed the first. So that's better than. Uh, you know, sometimes you play an Endless Quest book and you can't again, really, because there aren't enough choices. But this one, this one gave enough for a few extra plays. Pulling together the aspects of the, of the sounds, the voices, uh, the fact that you can gain things, it's not just purely uh, what the book hands to you. Like, you know, you, like I said, you find gold and you can advance things. Uh, all, all, all together, that really just wraps up to a sensation where you, you do feel like part of the story. You do. You don't feel like you're just along for the ride. Just kind of like the old video game Dragon's Lair. It's not just, oh, all, all I'm here to do is left, right, up, down. That's it. Timing. Timing on one of those four actions is all I need. This does... Pull everything together to make you feel a little bit more like you are involved in the story. And whenever one of these style games goes that far and does that, it makes you enjoy the game a little more. And I think that's why I did. So if you're looking for a really fun choose your own adventure, endless quest style game that Alexa can run for you, yeah, yeah, I think you're going to like Dark Citadel. <laughs>